Hello everybody, JGC Anime here, and today we are going to be reviewing the first half of Vanitas Season 1, or the study case of Vanitas, or case study of Vanitas, I don't know, however you want to pronounce it, but whatever, let's just hop right into this. Now, before anyone wonders why I'm doing a two-parter for this, it's just because it's going to be a two-part series, and part two has just started the last few weeks or so, and I want to watch it. But I want to first explain what my thoughts are for the first half, as this is one of the newer animes, at least to me, because it took me a long time to finally sit down and watch this, as I wasn't sure if it was good or not. But without further ado, let's just hop right into this. So, what is the story summary of the study case or Vanitas, or case... I'm just going to say the, the study case of Vanitas, but you guys can pronounce it however you want. It's the case study of Vanitas, but I don't really care. But anyway, I'm just going to call it Vanitas. So, the way Vanitas starts is we have one of our main characters, also known as I believe his name is no way and he's basically just trying to track down a special book which name kind of escapes me right now because this was at least two to three weeks ago my memory sucks when it comes to remembering this stuff but he's looking for this book and after having a run-in with a vampire who seems to have apparently forgotten its name in the terms of the show he meets the character Vanitas who it's funny enough, I watched the dub of this show, and Vanitas sounds an awful lot, maybe he's voiced by the same guy, as Go from Pokemon. So whenever I watch that show and I hear Vanitas just talk all serious-like and be a completely different person from Go, it just makes me laugh. But, yeah, he meets Vanitas, and eventually, after a few little shenanigans leading up to episode 2, the two end up now teaming up where they have to solve mysteries, and not like Scooby-Doo, but just try to find out the mysteriousness of vampires and what is going on so yeah that's just kind of how it starts it gets way more developed there's a lot of story in this series so i can't go into everything but that's kind of how it starts so what do i like and dislike well i love vanitas i'll admit that much vanitas is a very funny character and i actually just really love him his personality he's energetic but can be serious at times and it just it makes him such a fun character to be around noe is also a pretty interesting character and I definitely enjoyed him on screen. Did I love him as much as Vanitas? No, but I still think he was a great character. And I look forward to seeing what kind of adventures he and Vanitas get into in the later storylines. And yeah, it's, it's all I can really say with liking too much. But I also disliked a few things too. Some were casting in the English dub for other characters. For one, one thing I'm always wondering is, why do they always cast females as little boys? I, I get that's the point that they're meant to sound younger, but it always hurts. Like, I once tried to, it's not even in just the English version, but I tried watching clips from the show, um, The Weakest Sage with the Strongest Crest or something like that, I don't know what it's called, but I tried watching that show in Japanese, but the Japanese voice actress for him, for the main character hurts so much, it's so bad. Or maybe it's just me, but I hate it. It sounds horrible. Why do you cast females as male characters half the time? It usually sounds bad. There's very rare occasions it sounds good. But enough about that little rant. Overall though, I definitely think the casting in this for some characters sounded a bit off, but for the most part, they all worked. I thought most of them sounded really good. And I definitely like the Vanitas dub a lot. And overall, the show itself, just really solid overall. I can't think of too many issues, but that's probably talking about too much. So we're going into spoiler-free thoughts. So, what do I have to say that is, like, really good or really bad? I definitely did enjoy a lot of the chemistry between Vanitas and Noe. I thought their whole connection was very funny, and I enjoyed it a lot. Their interactions were always, they always felt quite genuine. It was clear that the two had good chemistry, and I swear, there are so many moments in this series where I think that it's meant to be like a game romance, like Yuri on Ice, which I might watch that series eventually. I don't know. I'm not really into that kind of stuff, but I, uh, who knows, maybe, maybe it's good, I don't know, but th those are the kind of vibes I get when watching Vanitas and Noe together, because it's just so funny, but then it's kind of thrown on its head because of other stuff that I can go about in the spoiler section, but there's just a lot of moments in the series that just feel really gay that I actually really love for some reason, because they're just so funny, but yeah. There, the action, I, I don't know why I talked like that, but the action is actually really good in this series too. I think a lot of it's really solid. I say a lot in this video, like a lot, the word a lot, <laughs> whatever. But I definitely think there were great moments in this series with great action and the story, it's absolutely amazing. I, do, I don't have any problems with it. 
Overall, I just had a great time. There are several moments like flashbacks and other stuff that also go on in this that I absolutely loved, especially going back into No Way's backstory as that is probably one of the most most interesting parts of this season or like this part that I actually really loved. I just, it was so beautiful and I just, I never thought I'd like a vampire show, I'll be honest, but this one has kind of turned it on its head, but that's all I can really say without spoiling too much. So here is a timestamp to when the spoiler section of this video will come to a close. Although if you have seen the show, I'd recommend sticking around to hear my thoughts, but if you haven't, I'd recommend skipping to the end, but I do like when people hear my thoughts. So without further ado, let's just count them from five and start the spoiler section. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so there is one thing specifically in here that I absolutely love, and it's the kind of romance between Jean or, or Jean or whatever her name is and Vanitas because in one of the earlier episodes when the two of them are introduced to one another Vanitas is immediately just like smitten with her being like oh my gosh you're beautiful <laughs> it's just such an amazing chemistry I don't know why but just whenever they're on screen together it reminds me a lot of the chemistry between Toma and Misaka from A Certain Magical Index where you don't know why, but they're just so charming together that you want to see them on screen all the time. There is one difference between this and that, and it's that unlike in A Certain Magical Index where when they're apart, their stories aren't as interesting, but when they're together, they're amazing. And this one, even when they're apart, the stories are still great. And it just, it's combined to make such an interesting story. And I don't have any issues with this series. Throughout the whole thing, I just had an amazing time, and I don't think there was any episode, like any specific episode, that I didn't enjoy. I enjoyed every single episode of this series, and it's probably one of the few rare times that's ever happened. Every single character in this series is charming as well, and overall, I've just been having an absolutely amazing time watching. I'm also curious to see what part two will have in store, since it looks like a lot of new stuff's going to be happening, and I look forward to watching that when I get the chance, but, and it's still a long ways away since I mentioned I watched the dub and thus the dub will still take like an extra two to three weeks to finish. Although it is a pretty, I'm quite surprised how fast the dub started coming out since usually it takes like eight episodes or more. But anyway, all in all though, I definitely love this anime a lot. I'm amazed at how much I actually loved it. It was fun. It was interesting. It was intense. And overall, I'm just curious to see how it's going to end because as mentioned in the first episode, at the beginning of the, or not the beginning, the end of the first episode, I believe, or the second one of the two, it ends with Noe saying that he will kill Vanitas by his own hands or with his own hands. And I'm curious to see how that plays out, but I'm also frustrated because I hate when shows do that. They're always just like, this is how I did this to somebody, but we're not going to explain it for like 20 seasons because we need to know how you got to that point for like five years. And I hate that so much. I wish more people did what the Attack on Titan thing did. Just kind of show it at the beginning and then just have it by the end of the episode, first ever second episode. Just, I hate when people do that because it makes me tense. I'm just like, okay, we already know how this is going to end or how this is going to play out. This uh, very similar thing happened in Assassin reincarnated in another world, but we don't need to talk about that. You can probably hear about that in my own review on it, which you can find on the channel. But I dislike that kind of feature in shows. I get that it's meant to pull you in and make you think, okay, how will it lead up to this point? But I'm still quite annoyed with how it was handled because I don't like stories where you know where things are going to end. I'm just hoping that maybe it's like one of those twist things where he thinks he kills Vanitas, but Vanitas is actually alive, but who knows if that's actually gonna happen or not. But overall though, I love this show. I'm amazed at how much I love this. I didn't have any issues with it. All the characters for the most part were great. And for a story about vampires, I'm very much surprised how much I actually enjoyed it. Usually I don't care for vampire stories at all. I've never watched Twilight or any of those other vampire romance stories. I've never checked out any of those. I've never really been into vampires as a, like a concept. I've never found them that interesting and I've just not cared about them. But this show made me really like vampires. The story was solid. The characters were solid. Everything about it was just absolutely just fantastic. And that's why we're at the conclusion of this video. My final thoughts are that Vanitas is amazing. It's, it's a great show. I recommend it to a lot of people. I don't know if the second half is going to be good or not. But overall, from this first half, I had a great time. I loved it. It was very enjoyable. And overall, I definitely would recommend it to friends 
since it's just, it's so amazing. I loved it. I, I didn't even know I would like it. I went into it simply because I was bored one day and thought, you know what, let's just watch an anime. I don't care what I watch. Study case of Vanitas or the case study, I don't care. The case study of Vanitas, yeah, sure, why not? And I found out that I loved it. It was a great series, and that's why I just give it a solid 10 out of 10. I loved it. I didn't have any issues, and I really hope part two sticks to this because it was so good. I had no issues with Vanitas the first part of season one. It was just so good. So freaking good. I I don't think I can get I could easily rewatch that entire season and not have any issues. It was just really good. Even my complaints are completely outweighed by the positives, and I just had an absolutely amazing time with this anime, and I cannot think of any issues that would outweigh the positives, and I cannot wait to watch the second half when it finishes, and overall, I just loved it. And that's all I really have to say. Thank you all for listening. If you're new to the JGC Anime channel, don't forget to subscribe. I always welcome new anime fans to the channel, and yeah. If you want to check out my reviews, make sure to check out the playlist that you can easily find on the channel. I upload these every week, at least I aim to, and that's all I really have to say. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all around. Peace!